always a good start to a steak. Brings out the rich flavor. Let that go everywhere. A little uh, fresh, crushed black peppercorn. Always a nice addition to a steak. Now, this is a secret. A little EVO. Oh, whew, too much pepper. A little EVO, extra virgin olive oil. I think it's appropriate that it's extra virgin. I'm just saying. I think that's great. And now, a little herb, a little rosemary from my backyard. This is on my porch. Throw a little rosemary on there. It brings out some nice little flavors. We're just going to let that sizzle and pop here for a moment while we talk this morning. Now, can you imagine going to a fancy steak restaurant for Valentine's, let's say, and the waiter comes to your table, and, and mind you, there's fine china, crystal glasses, linen, very quiet piano music playing in the background. The waiter comes to your table and he goes, yes ma'am, may I take your order? Very posh. Can you imagine looking at him and saying, I'll just have a plate of beef jerky. Just bring me out a platter of Slim Jims, we'll be fine. It's good, thank you. No, it would be ridiculous, right? You would never settle for beef jerky when you could have had a steak. You would never settle for an imitation when you could have had the real thing. However, in life, we do this all the time. We do it daily. We settle for fakes rather than waiting for the real thing. I like to tell people to wait for steak. Wait for God's better than plan. 